Hello transport nerds and welcome back to Talking Planning. I recently went to the Blue Mountains for a very long day trip and finally got to exercise my Opal card again. So let's go and check out a local Katoomba bus. Today's review is of 3717MO, which is one of Blue Mountains Transit's Volvo B7 RLEs fitted with a Volgren Optimus body. It's not the most unique design, as across the whole of CDC New South Wales, Blue Mountains Transit's parent company, there are 163 B7 Optimuses across all the different operations. You might be more familiar with similar buses at Hunter Valley Buses, Hills Bus and other CDC operators, such as this B8 RLE at Coastal Liner. Optimus deliveries have flowed into CDC Group from early 2014 onward, and there were also a key part of the delivery of the first stage of Sydney Metro. Looking pretty in pink, the Station Link livery was painted on a large number of buses delivered for Sydney Metro shuttles to service the Epping Chatswood Corridor as the line was converted to handle the new Metro trains. Some of the ex-Station Link buses also had dual leaf rear doors. Given the stop bell location, internal screen and February 2018 build date, I would guess that this was one of the buses built for Station Link. Obviously, the B7 RLE slash Optimus combination is pretty popular around much of Australia and I've caught tons of them over the years, particularly with Brisbane Transport who has a massive fleet of them and Logan City Bus Service. They were also quite popular over in Perth. Let's get back to today's bus. Like the typical CDC Optimus, you'll find this rather bland grey cloth and red priority seats. At least the sculpted bench design is relatively comfortable and legroom is decent. I will admit though, when I saw another one of these Optimuses pop up on a 690K from Katoomba to Springwood, I decided against catching it as I don't think these seats are going to be great for those length of journeys. Of course, this bus also comes complete with the red and yellow stop bells and retains the internal display, although predictably it wasn't working today. The bus stopping light is also off to the right hand side so it can be seen as well as the screen. Like most modern B7s, this is a Euro 5 model with the ZF box, so let's have a listen now. Making our way up the roundabout with Katoomba Street, a slightly more interesting Scania passes by, which I actually had the fortune to catch on the way out to Scenic World Lookout. Still, the main street of Katoomba is also pretty scenic and is full of bustling cafes, bars, restaurants and shops, and is a nice spot to wander around for an hour or two. It's also a nice slow speed environment, so if you're in a rush, a detour is highly recommended.
unfortunately, this Optimus misses out on Volgren's excellent additional window frame bell buttons, but for one particular viewer, that's probably a blessing. At least, looking out the side window, you can see glimpses of the bus in the shop windows as we make our way up the hill. Since we're almost at the top, it's time to press that bell and get ready to jump off the bus. Thanks for joining me and I will see you again soon.